In this video, we're going to learn how to multiply and simplify fractions. Multiplying fractions requires us to multiply the two values at top over the two values at bottom. So multiplying the two values at top will be 4 times 2, which will be 8, divided by, or the fraction simple, the two values at bottom, which will be 5 times 3, which is 15. And that'll be our answer. Again, looking at the next question, we multiply the two values at top and the two values at bottom. Looking at the two values at top is going to be 4 times 3, which will be 12. Multiplying the two values at bottom together will be 5 times 7, which is going to be 35, which will be our answer. Now moving on to the next example, we'll follow the same steps, but we're going to notice that we'll need to simplify the fraction out. So 3 times 2 will be 6 over 4 times 5, which will be 20. Now we can simplify this out by figuring out the greatest common divisor, meaning a number that we would divide top and bottom by that is a factor of the numbers that we see here. Now we know we can divide by 2, and it doesn't have to be the biggest number you can find as long as you know that there's a number that we can. We know that that's going to be 2. 6 divided by 2 will be 3. 20 divided by 2 will be 10. Now we can't factor this out anymore. 3 is a prime number, so all we could divide by is 3, and we can't divide the bottom by 3. So our final answer will be 3 over 10. Now looking at the next example, we're going to multiply across. So we're going to do 2 times 2, which will be 4. Now we multiply the two bottom numbers, so we'll have 4 times 6 will be 24. Now we can simplify this out again by figuring out a number that we'll be able to divide both values by. Now we can do 2, but we could also do 4, right? Because 4 divided by 4 will give us a value of 1. And we can also divide the bottom by 4, which will give us a value of 6. Now if you didn't notice that first, you can always divide it by 2 and then do another simplification round again by dividing another set by 2 to get that same answer. Now here's a couple tricks for whenever you are multiplying values across. Now if we do this example, we'll notice that we're going to get 15 on the top and we're going to get 45 at the bottom. Now like I was saying earlier, is you could just choose a value if you know you need to simplify, but you're not sure if it's the biggest value that you have. So we'll divide the top and bottom by 3. It looks like both of those can be divided by 3. And if we do, we'll get 5 at the top, and we'll get 15 at the bottom. Now we notice that we can actually divide this again. We can simplify it one more time, and we can simplify dividing the top and bottom by 5. 5 divided by 5 will be 1, and the bottom will be 3. So our answer is 1 -third. Now another trick that we can do is actually simplify the value first before we actually multiply across. And this is really helpful when you have really, really big numbers. Now we can simplify this first fraction by dividing top and bottom by 2, which will end up giving us 1 half, times 3 over 6, which we can simplify by dividing out a 3 on top and bottom, which will give us another value of 1 half. Multiplying this across, we're going to get 1 over 2 times 2, which is 4. So our answer is 1 over 4.